Prepare yourself for a journey to wisdom, wellness, and wonder through Greek philosophy. Whatever your hopes and dreams may be, you will emerge from this guided meditation much more comfortable and much more confident than before. It will all seem effortless to you. Now prepare yourself. Arrange your clothes. Make sure your other devices are turned off so that we will have no disturbances during this guided meditation. Your hands should be to the side of your body with the palms facing upwards. At the end of this video, please like comment, share it with your friends, and make sure you're subscribed to this channel. If you'd like to listen to today's session without any advertisement interruptions, head on over to patreon.com. You can go ahead and close your eyes if you feel more comfortable. Now let's begin by taking a deep breath together, inhaling through the nose, holding that breath and spreading it throughout your whole body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. And only when you've spread the oxygen in your body can you then exhale through the mouth. Again, inhale deeply, deeply, deeply. Relaxing your facial muscles. Relaxing your shoulders. Spreading the oxygen to all the cells of your body and exhaling through the mouth with double the time so that really you empty out any stress. Once again, a deep, deep inhalation, relaxing your jaw in particular by dropping your mouth open, spreading the oxygen throughout your whole body relaxing your shoulders and again exhaling double the time so that you feel deeply deeply relaxed observe your abdomen your stomach area as it's rising and falling with every breath you take Observe how it inflates like a balloon every time you're inhaling and how it deflates every time you exhale. Allow yourself to breathe naturally, relaxing and being comfortable with every breath you take. Your shoulders are relaxing. Your whole right arm is relaxing. Your whole left arm is relaxing. 
relaxing. The abdomen area is relaxing. Your genital area is relaxing. Your whole left leg is relaxing. Your whole right leg is relaxing. You feel yourself sinking deeper and deeper as you feel your whole body relaxing. Change is a universal law of nature. In ancient Greece, there was a philosopher named Heraclitus who said that everything is in flow. Things are changing constantly. Your life is ephemeral. People we care about may get sick or leave us from one day to another. This is why Heraclitus said that you can never step into the same river twice. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and student of Greek philosophy, often said to himself, think often on the swiftness with which things that exist and that are coming into existence are swept past us and carried out of sight for all substance is a river of ceaseless flow, its activities ever-changing, and its causes subject to countless variations and scarcely anything stable. Things are constantly in change. This is the only constant. They flow past us. New things come up every moment. The wise person should remind themselves how precious their loved ones are and how anything may happen from day to day. This is a call to appreciate what you have, not to be afraid that you will lose it. Things are constantly in change, flowing past us. Therefore, we should remind ourselves how precious our loved ones are, how lucky we are to live each day and share it with them. Let's appreciate what we have now, because tomorrow things may change. Life is impermanent. We must keep in mind that we are lucky to be able to enjoy the things that we have, 
and that our enjoyment might end abruptly. Let's learn to enjoy the things and the people without feeling entitled to them. At the same time, we must not cling to things in fear of losing them. Simply to appreciate on a deep level what is and what we have. When you think and imagine that life is a river, you will reduce your attachment to what you love, and you will diminish the fear of things you're averse to, because you're aware that all is in constant change. Even the things that you dislike will pass. You generally reduce the perceived importance of external things. You learn to realize that like the clouds and the weather, everything will change. Knowing that nothing lasts makes you less attached and it becomes easier to accept when things change or when you lose what you have. It was always in the plan, you will say to yourself. This is the nature of life, the ups and the downs. Life is a roller coaster ride. Around every corner, a new curve, some surprising element. As another great Greek philosopher said, expect the unexpected. Epictetus, the Greek philosopher, taught that you should remind yourself that your loved ones are mortals and that nothing that you love is your own to possess forever. Epictetus tells us to remind ourselves on a constant basis that nothing that we are given is forever. Epictetus reminds us that life is like holding on to a crystal glass. We should always keep in mind that at some point it's likely to break. It is given to us for this moment in time, like the fruits of figs or grapes. There is a certain time of year where they flourish and mature. And if you expect to have figs or grapes in winter, you are a fool. So too it is when you long for something like a friend 
when it is not given to you to have their company. You must know that all things come to a maturing state. They drop off the tree and you can enjoy them at that time. There is a season for everything. So the next time you say goodbye to a loved one, you should silently remind yourself that this may be your final parting. You'll be less attached to them. And if you happen to see them again, of course you will appreciate them. Many things happen to us that we cannot change, but we can adopt a noble spirit to bear up bravely with all the changes that nature sends our way, accepting them with wisdom. I want you to become aware of the smallest things and how ephemeral they are. Things change. You are changing. Imagine all the people who lived before you and all the people who will follow when you're gone. Broaden your perspective to the whole history of the human race. This is your work for this week, to focus on the whole history of the human race and your small part in it During your week this week, pay attention and become appreciative of all things around you, reminding yourself that they are ephemeral. Now is a good time to repeat your deep affirmation three times, your life mission and purpose. No matter what happens in your life, this will become a reality. And now, on the count of three, you're going to return to full open awareness, returning to your ordinary life. One, take a deep breath, expanding your shoulders, expanding your arms over your head like you do early in the morning, stretching yourself. Two, take another deep breath and move your body stretching from side to side. Three, extend to the tips of your toes and the tips of your fingers, stretching your whole body, feeling revitalized, you're feeling confident, you're feeling powerful and certain of yourself. And as you're returning to full awareness, 
Simply stretch your neck from side to side, relaxing your shoulders and opening your eyes if you've had them closed up until now. You look around and you see that the environment hasn't changed, but deep in yourself you know that you have experienced a deep transformation. The reality may look the same, but you have changed, and that changes everything. That will attract the most positive energy. No matter what happens, you know that you are able to handle things from a place of inner strength and confidence. Thank you for joining me in this guided meditation. I look forward to seeing you next time. Once again, thank you for supporting my work on Patreon.com.